Hello everybody and welcome back to my Let's Play System Shock 2 Wrench Only Playthrough. In the last episode it was revealed to us that Polito has probably been dead for some time and Shodan has been posing as her to get us to do what she wants for whatever purposes. So we are indeed completely and utterly alone aside from having this insane AI as our only guidance. However, she's the only thing we got right now, so we're just going to have to roll with it. It's interesting because the alliance between Shodan and the player is one that is formed out of pure necessity for both of them. We have very, very little chance of surviving on our own for any reasonable period of time if things keep going the way they are. And Shodan is actually kind of in the same boat. If she's rooted out, she's going to be destroyed as well, so she needs us maybe even more so than we need her. Just something to think about. I have a secret from the many. I've created overrides from my little experiments in reprogramming the simunids and entrusted them to the care of three special friends. I've dressed them in red and instructed them to stay away from strangers. A smart hacker always has a back door. Insurance is going to get us in a lot of trouble, but I trust you, so let's do it. I've managed to wrangle access codes to the escape pods on the command deck. We only need to hack into Xerxes' emergency subsystem, get past the ice nodes, and try to avoid being spotted by Bronson's security team. Piece of cake, right? So yeah, even the monkeys are becoming... Pretty awesome. They're shooting fireballs at me now. Gonna have to tread real lightly. Just stay sharp. We should be fine. Okay, got 12 cyber modules. Not really a whole lot I can do at this time. Spent a whole bunch of them before we left Hydro. Looking for a security control Something. suit. That's what I really need right now. Let's go pay that dude in red a visit. I think he has what we need. When you and your kind are extinct, sorry.
Cybernetic modules. Do not squander them. Your song is not. system online. Something else is kind of interesting too with the dynamic between Shodan and the player is how as you accomplish the goals that she gives you she rewards you with the cyber modules which for you essentially translate into survival. She knows just not to give you all of them at once even though that would Security kind of system sense. Offline. But she's also aware of the fact that at some point you may just completely refuse to do the work that she needs done for her. So she knows just how to lead you on. It's awful tempting, but... I've got to upgrade my strength fast. These things are taking way too long to kill. Severing parts of themselves. 
We're trying to get the bugs fixed, but I know that Bjurklant is watching us. It's sad to see a man so haunted by the ghost of his father. His hatred for everything Triop represents is remarkable to behold. All right, the spiders are getting me meaner, they're getting bigger, and they're getting nastier. We just gotta get in there and just wrench the hell out of them. I actually haven't done this in a while, so it might take me a little bit of practice. To... They're, they're fast, very fast. There are actually mods for this game that remove spiders entirely. Some people with even mild arachnophobia find them quite unsettling. I've explored these quarters. Oh, damn it. I really didn't want to get spotted. Ah, right in the freaking face. I can already tell these things are going to give me a lot more trouble than I counted on. Easy, easy, back off. Looks like we're in for a rough ride. Well, I think I'm gonna wrap this up here. When I resume, we're gonna go down there. Thanks for watching. Oh shit!